Hi y'all, I'm Katie Martin, and I'll be showing you how I made cosplays this semester on Create Your Character. Last week, Nintendo announced a new Hyrule Warriors game set to release in November, and it really got me wanting to bust out something Zelda related. It took me a minute to decide what to make because there are so many amazing props and weapons from the Zelda series, but I decided on the Kite Shield from Breath of the Wild. Now let's get this shield started. The first thing I'm doing is making my pattern out of newspaper. I do this just by looking at a reference picture. When making patterns, I like to use different color markers whenever I make a mistake. That way, when I go to cut out the pattern, I know which lines and which colors to follow. The next thing I'm doing is tracing my pattern onto EVA foam. You can get this foam from either Joann's or Michael's. For the main base of the shield, I am using 8mm foam. The next step is to just simply cut out the foam. I'm using a box cutter. When cutting foam, you're going to go through a lot of blades, so I always like to have a bunch of spare blades nearby, just so it's easy to replace them as I'm working. The next thing I'm doing is cutting out the littler details from my pattern, this way I can trace on those smaller details onto foam and then cut those out as well. Here I am making a pattern for the feathers that are on the bottom of the shield, doing the same newspaper method for these, and then I will be tracing these onto 2mm foam. For the feathers, I cut little grooves and little slits into the sides just to give them a more realistic and feather looking texture. Here I am using a rotary tool to smoothen the edges just a little bit more. Now I am heat sealing the foam. I do this because the foam acts kind of like a sponge and if I don't do this, it will soak up all the glue that I'm about to apply. Now I'm going to be using contact cement to attach the pieces. This stuff is super toxic, so whenever you use it, you have to work in a well-ventilated area and wear a respirator because you don't want to inhale this stuff. The next thing I'm doing is putting quick seal along the seam down the middle because when I did attach them, there's a little bit of a gap, um, but applying this stuff to it makes that gap pretty much invisible, especially after the priming and sanding that I'm going to do after this. Now I'm going to be sanding it down just to make it even and look like it is part of the foam. And then after that I'm going to go over it with Mod Podge. This makes it look really really smooth and super pretty whenever you go over and paint it because you really aren't even going to be able to tell that there is a seam down the middle after this. Now I'm drilling holes that I will put the loops through that are going to attach the feathers that are along the bottom of the shield. Now 
on measuring how long I need to cut these foam dowels for to make the loops. And here I am attaching and gluing the feathers. Now I'm just going down the middle of the feathers with hot glue just to add a little bit of extra detail to the feathers. For the handle, I really just freehanded a lot of this. I just cut some foam rectangles. For the first strap, I used 5mm foam and then I just put contact cement on the back. And then for the actual part that my hand would go on, I used a foam dowel rod and put two foam rectangles over that to kind of attach it and then I just kind of lined it up to see where I would need to actually move it onto the back of the shield so my arm could go through it. Before painting I'm going to be sealing this off with plastidip. This stuff is also toxic, so I'm going to be wearing your respirator and spray painting this outside. Applying plastic up can be a bit tricky. You have to make sure you're just the right distance away, otherwise you will get bubbles. And the trick is to do multiple thin coats rather than one or two really thick coats because this will make the plastic up bubble up. After I finished sealing the foam with plastic up, I painted the whole shield white. I did this so the colors would show up a whole lot better when I went to go paint them. And then I just used acrylic paint to paint the shield. To attach the feathers, I used wire that is used for making flower arrangements or making flower bouquets. And then for the beads, I used foam clay. You can get this stuff at Michael's. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so easy to work with and it's so much fun to use. And so I just put that around the wires and then let them dry. It only takes a couple hours for it to dry. And then just paint it over that and then my shield was done. That's all for this episode. If you're wondering where I got any of my materials or tools for this prop, there are links in the description of this video on the Goofing Off YouTube channel. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to tweet me at ZTV Goofing Off with the hashtag CreateYourCharacter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on CreateYourCharacter.